I was told of a zoology professor who is so tough a grader that nobody has ever received an A in his course. Last semester, history was being made because an especially bright student had A's on his two midterms. If he could get an A on the final, he would have the first A in this professor's class ever. The final test was on birds, and so the student practically memorized the three chapters on birds. He went to the library, he checked out extra readings, and felt ready for anything that might appear on the final. The day of the final, the professor said, good morning, students, this is your final exam. And from underneath the table, he pulled up three stuffed birds, and each of them was covered with a little hood, and all you could see were the legs and the feet poking out from underneath these hoods. He said, now, students, looking at the legs and the feet of these three specimens, I'd like you to tell me their common names and their scientific names. That's all you have to do. You have an hour and a half to complete the exam. Begin. The class sat absolutely stunned. There are thousands of species of birds. How do you identify a bird by looking at the legs and feet? This test was given so nobody would get an A. The student who previously thought he had a shot at getting an A wrote down some names he knew probably were incorrect, went up and slammed his paper on the professor's desk and said, sir, that's the dumbest test I've ever taken in my life. And I want to tell you something else. You are the most boring lecturer on this campus. <laughs> The professor fumbled for a pen and said, just one minute, student, what was your name? The student thought for a second, pulled up his pant leg, showed his hairy leg, and said, why don't you tell me? 